Welcome back to Ferris Hangout. Welcome to round two of Sports Collectibles. Today, we do have... This is the February 9th, 1994. Uh, I just collected everything from the Detroit News of Chris Weber I could have. Back in the day, like I said, I was a big Michigan Fat Five fan, so this is one of the papers. Um, nothing really into it, I guess. Let me check it out real quick. Um, yeah, nothing. What are you gonna do? You got uh, Chris Weber got drafted. Number one twice. Uh, like I said in my other video, he got drafted to land up, but then he got traded to Golden State for Penny Hardaway. This was July 1st. Uh, no, yeah, July 1st, 1993. So what do you got here? Uh, I think it was part of another paper I had. Of some. November 8, 1991. Something was in it. Yeah, I don't know. <coughs> this is right after September 11th, actually. This is September 14th. President Bush said that we will win this war. Well, I mean, with uh, billions and trillions and trillions of dollars later, and I don't think anything won out of it, you know. People died, man. You know? Rest in peace to those people and their families, and hopefully we have no more wars. People be nice to each other, you know what I'm saying? Oh, we got two a special treat. <laughs> got these down in Kentucky. I mean, hey. People like this. I like it. It's got to be a better bag for them, especially now because that movie just came out. It was really good. I thought it was really good. I think you give that kid an Oscar, hands down. He was on. I'm talking about my uh, Elvis Presley collectible cards. And these are from the year 1978. We got some 1978 Elvis Presley cards. But I mean, a whole bag of them I got in Kentucky, and these are like good, good, good condition cards in a Ziploc bag. Um, you go down to Kentucky and down south, man, it's all Elvis. You know? Elvis with a beard. I remember that movie? And then anything on the back of them, it's got like uh, descriptions of, ooh, got descriptions of uh, what it was. This one. Elvis Fact, number six. He bought his Cadillac in 1955. It was pink in the fashion world. Elvis made pink and black very popular. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, like I said, these are 1978. You know, they're that old. I like reprints, reprints, but no. I'm, uh, I'm gonna put these in something nice, so. You know, all you Elvis Presley fans, like it or not. Like I said. Okay. Treat me like a fool, treat me mean and cruel, and love for me. Begging down, it's pretty sweet. Begging on my knees, please love me. I'll be wearing in blue. Crying over you. Crying over you. Sorry. I don't know, I guess when you start looking at all this stuff, you know. You gotta start slinging the king. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I thought that movie was really good. I think that kid, Austin Butler, he gets the Oscar for that, hands down. He was Elvis. Good one of them. Good 
a picture of them there. You see it? No. Oh, sorry. There. there you go. Be that Colonel jacked him though. He was taking his money left and right, man. See, that Colonel knew his dad was not to say anything bad, but man, the guy did no business for nothing. The Colonel knew it. The Colonel was double dipping. Might have been when the king signed his life away to the colonel there. What is that? Let's read what it said. It says, uh, what did that say? Elvis was not superficial at all. Conversation, he could be very self revealing. He had much to incite and honesty. <clears throat> so, yeah, these are all the Elvis cards. Like I said, I'm gonna put them all in a, a nice little box. And I think the whole collections are, these are, uh, like I said, they are, uh, collect all 66 cards. Boxcar Enterprises Incorporated, 1978. Boxcar. There's a collection of 66. And I probably got 90 of them. <laughs> I know I got the collection, I know that. But yeah, we went down to Kentucky and um, they had flea markets down there and everything. And uh, they, I mean, the ones we went to were like pretty poor. So these people had everything with Elvis. And, um, you know, these, some of these collections I'll show later. Um, uh, I remember I went up to a guy and he had a 1989 uh, Hoops basketball uh, packages set and I think there was like uh, 40 50 packs in there and I'm thinking man 1989 I'm like close as you can get to Michael Jordan's rookie you know so that's a couple 89 cards I know in there for sure or it was 88 it was 88 and um, uh, the box was beat up but he had all the cards in there and I asked him I was like well, how much are they and he goes well I'll give him to you for 20 I know the box was beat up. I was like, $20? He goes, yeah. So I'm thinking, well, you got, what, Dave Robinson's rookie, Michael Jordan's, what, third year or so, and you got a lot of all-stars. So I was like, all right, man, how about 12 bucks? And we settled on 12 And, uh, yeah, I got, like, a couple of Jordan's all-stars. I got a lot of Dave Robinson rookie cards out of it. Yeah. We'll talk about those later when I show you. But, yeah, here's the L's. Elvis cards, like I said, there's, there's 66 Elvises. There's about 100. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I'm gonna keep these in the other box. I'm gonna put them back. I'm gonna put these in this box. Easy. Okay, look that up, man. Box cards, huh? All right. There's that and that. Let's go into the good box. Call us the good box because have this the longest and I got a lot of my good stuff in here. I keep a lot of my good stuff in this box. <clears throat> Let's check your app. Alright, right out the top. I don't know why he's here. I have to put him back in there. It's my Jose Canseco card. Put him in the box. Um, Put him back in his goes. Let's check some of these bad boys out there. Oh, acetate cards. Remember that? Uh, Drew Bledsoe. They're like C3 cards, kind of. I forgot who that dude was, but they're all those old Kansas City cards. The back. In the back, we got this 91 Jordan flare. Big time save Jordan, man. You know? Uh, here's another good one. Jordan. Ranger rookie. Baseball. Don Ross. Jordan. What is that? A 90 Fleer. That's a sweet pose. That's like this. That's his jump man right there. That's the getting it from. Nice one there. 89 Jordan All Star. We got some little packages in here. Kind of 
Ken Griffin Jr. Is it Paul Molitor? These are all 91s. 93s, I mean. Robert Ventura. Greg Maddox. Randy Johnson's 91. Eric Kiros. Mark McGuire. This is 93 when he was with the A's still. About five years removed from uh, before the uh, home run contest. Ron Gant, Devin White, Jack McDowell. He was pretty good back in the day. A little couple of baseball guys, I guess. Griffey and McGuire is probably the the best out of the duos, I would say. You know, Griffey's dad played with them on the same team. I think they hit home runs back to back. I think a couple times. Three times? Twice maybe? I don't know. Oh yeah. Let's show you some good ones real quick. Ty Detmer, remember his broke ass? Muggsy Bogues. David Justice, Po Jackson on the back. Another good little pack set. Oh, uh, who's that? Like them Weber cards, where I had them all different names and everything else and on the top, the teams. Same thing with the penny cards. Same year, classic edition. You got Orlando and Golden State. They didn't know where they were going to be drafted yet. Uh, let's see, who we got? We got the great one, Wayne Kovetsky. Kia Terzon. I do that French lingo. Uh, in my opinion, one of the greatest baseball players ever lived, but you know, he'll never get in the Hall of Fame because of that bullshit. Barry Bonds, even though he had the numbers before it. That neat Dominique on the back. Uh, what else we got? Ozzy Canseco, remember him? Jose's brother? Nope. No one remembers him. Well, he basically got a start because his brother in the A's. He sucked ass. Um, I, mean, I don't know if I ever kept these, but Disney cards, I guess, you know. Um, this is Splash Mountain, 1991, Upper Deck. Johnson Magic 1988. Boomer on the back. Boomer. I got a couple of these. I don't see them in there. I don't have to bend them or anything like that. You got Magic. Who's that? Larry. Larry. These are, uh, what are these? These are 1989. Whoa. 1989. Magic and Larry's, man. Can't go wrong with double double. Putting that in. I know I had a 
send them out and everything else. But man, I just don't really look at my cards a whole lot. Like I said, I keep them boxed away in the safe and, you know, I don't bother them. I just wanted to check them out, like I said, for mostly insurance purposes. That's one of the best catches in college history. Dominique, the Kimbe. Oh, yeah, you know we got to have it. Bam. Jose, rookie. Mario Lemieux's 91 Stadium Club. I think the greatest of all time. Sergey's rookie. The Rocket. Remember Rocket? Rocket Ishmael. He was badass, Notre Dame, fast, man, Rocket, 91. I know y'all got these. Fab Five. Oh, yeah. What year is it? These were limited, too. They were back in the day. Uh, this is 1990. 91. 92, I mean. There you go. 91, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Howard. I got all the rest of them in here somewhere. Um... I'll put some up there. Jordan's 89. Who's who's? Jerry's rookie. It's in the thick plastic. Roger Clemens rookie. Who's old Chris Joseph? Jim Everett. Remember when Jim Rowe called him Chris Everett? <laughs> yeah, Pitts. You know, like pushed him down in there and everything. A whole bunch of old baseball cards. Damon Garcia. These are like 84s. Um, Jim Rowe. Let's see. Red Grange. Some old guys, 91. Anthony, Anthony, Dallas. Oh, that's my man. My opinion. I mean, Tom Brady's the greatest, but that was my greatest of all time, Joe Montana. That's uh, 1990. 92. Yeah. Uh, Mayom Round. I think she was the first um, female uh, goalie. For uh, the Toronto, I forgot who else, but Toronto. Anthony on the back. This is a pretty sweet card here. Let me look at it for a second. Tell you how much these guys made back in, uh, I don't know, this is one of them promo cards. It's pretty rare though. Check it out. It says, uh, can you read it there? Per point, per strikeout, per completion, per goal. The biggest one was Tyson on here. But. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Um, I'm going to see it here. Mark McGuire's rookie. thing was like big money when he broke the record then he hit steroids and I was like what the fuck Jordan 89 David Robinson's 89 this is Jordan's 80 1990 North Carolina Coca-Cola there's a set of those remember I got the set Sergey rookie again Jordan I kept all the Jordans Jordan. 
starting. Judging. This Jordan on the back sweet though. Pose. This is Jordan all day. Another one of the uh, Fat Five guys, Jimmy King. Junior Seau, rest in peace, one of the best linebackers of all time. Baby Jordan, Harold Meyer, they, they gave him that nickname and cursed his ass. Baby Jordan. Stacy Ogden. Uh, Dale Earnhardt, man, you can't go wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? 1991. Rest in peace. Grandmama, Larry Johnson. Dave Robinson, rookie. Mario Mew. Montana. Fab Five guys, Ray Jackson. Jay Rose. How young he is there. He used to have his jersey, him and Chris Weber's. Michigan jerseys, which they never got paid off of. And now they're starting to do it now. <clears throat> Speaking of man, that five day there, his first card, and got paid off that. <laughs> More Mark McGuire, yep. rookie. Troy Aikman, pretty sweet back in the day. Drew Bledsoe. Drew Bledsoe went down and Tom Brady took over. Some old run. Penny. Uh, Sean Bradley. Remember his big ass? Pudge. Piazza rookie. Carl Malone, 93. Man, man, Pudge. Jeremy Yager rookie. That guy's probably still playing, man. It's like, what, 91? Check. It was a good one there, baby. We got Neon Dion. Rookie card baseball, baby. Bam. Let's see what else. Terrell Rookie signed autograph. Back in the day. Jamal Mashburn. Big Hurt. Big Hurt. Reggie White, rookie. He's gonna be long uh, videos on cards because he's got, like I said, we go through a lot of them. Jordan. Jordan. Andre Reed, rookie. This guy's old. 68. Mel Renfro. Beat up. Rocket again. Baby Jordan, again, Errol Miner, Christian Leitner, Ricky Duke Fame, 